Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Omar must go. Hundreds of Jews gather to protest Ilhan Omar in NYC. Hundreds of Jews gathered in Times Square in New York City on Monday evening to protest anti Semitic representative Ilhan Omar, DMN, and chanted, Omar must go. Following the highly publicized allegations of the Minnesotan Congresswoman's anti Semitism and her statement downplaying the 9 11 terrorist attacks, New York native and activist Joe Diamond organized a rally and billboard launch calling for her removal, the Jerusalem Post reported. Speakers at the event included former Democratic New York State Assemblyman Dov Heikand and award-winning advocate of Christian Zionism Lori Cardoza Moore. In my lifetime, I cannot think of any other politician who presents a bigger threat to the alliance between the U.S. and Israel and to America's Jews, Diamond told Post. This woman is an ardent anti-Semite, and she doesn't even try to hide it. Ilhan and her clique are well aware of what we are doing, Diamond added. And we're not done. Everyone left really energized, ready to do whatever must be done next. We have to utilize every mechanism of media to wake up Americans about the vile hatred of this woman, Cardoza Moore said. Christians should also be alarmed. Ilhan Omar is a huge threat to our national security. Omar has previously called for defunding the entire Department of Homeland Security, DHS, and called for abolishing ICE last week, along with ending deportations and ending the criminalization of migrants illegally entering the U.S. Here are just a few examples, as reported by the Daily Wire, of Omar's anti-Semitism. Omar has been condemned by Congress and many of her Democratic colleagues multiple times over her blatant anti-Semitism which includes promoting a conspiracy theory that Nazi Germany used to demonize Jews, supporting the anti-Semitic BDS movement, suggesting that Israel should not be allowed to exist as a Jewish state, claiming without evidence that her Jewish colleagues had devised a scheme to silence her criticism of Israel, falsely claiming that pro-Israel groups were paying off American politicians to be loyal to Israel and claiming without evidence that her Democratic colleagues were expecting her to have dual loyalties. On Tuesday, Omar took a shot at Americans during a podcast with The Nation, claiming that many Americans are ignorant. Speaking about the process that refugees go through, Omar claimed that Republicans were really good at misinformation and sort of really reorganizing facts to sort of paint a picture that really eventually is not rooted in fact, The Daily Wire reported. And so it is not that they might not be knowledgeable about this, but they use it as a tool to stir up hate and division. And ignorance really is pervasive in many parts of, of this country. President Donald Trump has gone after Omar directly for her vile remarks, including her trivialization of the 9-11 terror attacks. Rep. Ilhan Omar is again under fire for her terrible comments concerning Israel, Trump tweeted. Jewish groups have just sent a petition to Speaker Pelosi asking her to remove Omar from Foreign Relations Committee. A dark day for Israel. Trump added, before Nancy, who has lost all control of Congress and is getting nothing done, decides to defend her leader, Rep. Omar, she should look at the anti-Semitic, anti-Israel and ungrateful U.S. hate statements Omar has made. She is out of control, except for her control of Nancy. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.